Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today we're going to be um, sublimating directly onto some vinyl. And the vinyl that we're going to be using is actually a vinyl that I purchased here local in Dallas, Texas, but you can buy it online. I will link the supplier or the store in the description on this tutorial, but they're called Join Us or Join Us, whatever you want to call it. Join Us is what I like. <laughs> but I'm going to be printing this out, printing my image out to a, a vinyl that is an inkjet or sublimation vinyl. So you can use inkjet ink or sublimation ink and you can put this directly on dark colors or light colors, whatever color you so choose, okay? It holds up in the wash really, really well. Um, one of my last tutorials, I did a smaller size paper, uh, vinyl, but now I have the larger size and I'll show that to you when I come up on screen. But this is for those of you that wanna be able to do sublimation images on dark colors, um, then you do have you know, a workaround without using a white HTV or a glitter HTV or clear HTV, so on and so forth, okay? So oh, I have my slide black because my t-shirt is black and I wanna get a good visual of what it's gonna look like on this black shirt. So, I'm in Microsoft PowerPoint because I don't want to make a small image according to the 6.75 by 9.25 as according to Cricut. So that's why I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint. So I'm going to grab my image. I'm going to go to the menu and select insert picture and this device. And this is an image that I created in Creative Fabrica Spark. It's a digital image. And then I took it into Photor and I enhance the quality of it just a little bit, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop out these fingers here on the very bottom. So I'm gonna do that because they look a little weird to me right there. So I'm gonna click on the image. I'm gonna go to the menu and I'm gonna select crop and crop. And I'm gonna lay my cursor right on the little dark black areas. Okay, so you want to make sure it's on any one of these dark black areas here when you crop. And what, wherever you're trying to crop, that's where you want to make sure you use that black area. So I'm going to go to the center here, and I'm going to click that little middle dark bold line. And I'm just going to drag it up a bit to get out that weirdness from her hand. Okay, so now that I have that, I am going to take this image and I'm going to save as. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to use this image again without having the fingers to show back up. So I'm going, I'm going to change this over to something that works for me. So I'm going to say Princess Yellow Dress. Okay, and then I'm just going to save that. And I'm going to delete this one. And then I'm going to bring that image back in, but I'm going to bring the one in that I've cropped out the weirdness of the hands. So I'm going to go back to my desktop and I'm going to grab that image. Now you don't have to do this part unless you have something that you want to take out of the, the picture. Okay. And then um, I'm going to look over here up under designer. And Designer gives you some options and choices that you can select, you know, do you want to use this type of image, you know, you want to make that image um, to print out or this one, it gives you some options and you don't have to go with any of them, you know, Microsoft PowerPoint is just giving you some options instead of just having the square image, you know, on your page, okay, or on your shirt. So that's what this is here. And 
this is just to kind of give you, you know, a better feel for printing things out in Microsoft PowerPoint. And if you don't like any of these options, guys, you can click on see more design ideas and they'll give you more options to work with. I like this one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this image and I'm going to go to picture format and I'm going to choose crop. But this time, instead of using the standard crop, I'm going to use crop to shape. Now, one of the things about this that I really love is it's going to take this picture and crop it to whatever shape I select. So I'm gonna do some really weird ones and then I'm gonna show you the one that I'm gonna use, okay? So um, you can crop where it'll just crop it into a circle for you. Um, you can crop the shape in any basic shape out here, okay? So you can play around with it. Of course, that's really weird. Um, but I'm just giving you a visual. So this one is kind of like a box. And, you know, so that you can get out of, you know, just printing the image just in a um, portrait position on your shirt. You can get a little bit more designer um, out of your image. Okay, so that one's kind of cute, but that's not what I want to use either. So I'm going to go crop the shape. And I'm going to come down to this flow chart. Now, I know it sounds weird, but we're going to see what it looks like. And my image may be too big. So what happened there? Let me go back to background black. And picture format crop. Let's try this again on a smaller screen. Okay, it's there. So I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and click on the field and line. I'm going to select solid line. And notice there is a line here. There is a line here. And then there is a line around this image. So I'm going to blow it out so you can see it better. And I'm going to use a color from her little necklace thingy here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my, um, my line thicker so I can see it by clicking on width here. And I'm probably going to go up to about a 10. Like that. And I think that color is good. It looks good like that. And I may go a little bit thicker. Just like that. All right, so what I did is I went to picture format. I clicked on my image. I went to picture format. I selected crop. I came down crop to shape and I selected this flow chart. But in order to be able to see the flow chart, you have to have a line around your image. So I added the line and that made the uh, flow chart come to life. And I'm going to use this and I'm going to add some rounded corners here, a little bit more rounded. So I'm going to do that by still having picture format and I'm going to go to picture border. And I am going to select I think I want to go All right, click on more lines and I'm going to select round, bevel. So it kind of took that little edge off of it just being round. Um, but yeah, I like that. So this is going to be my image that I'm going to be sublimating on my black shirt. And I'm going to do this so that I kind of get away from just having a big square. Um, on my t-shirt. I think that's really pretty. And I think it's going to be pretty on this back. Now for the sizing, I'm going to come over. I click the image and I'm going to come over and I'm going to select size and properties. And I'm going to deselect the scale width. And I'm going to tell it to do it at a 13 in height. I think that'll be good enough for my large shirt. And I'm going to leave it on 10.17 width wise. Okay. 
And yeah, that is so pretty. All right, so you can add text to it. So we're gonna come and I'm just gonna say melanin beauty. All right, so I'm gonna add melanin, melanin beauty here, and I'm gonna change my font. Get something kind of pretty. I'm gonna bold it, and then I'm gonna increase the size so it can be seen a little bit here. I'll have it over to the side like that. All righty. So now. I'm going to highlight my text. I'm going to highlight the text, bring that in so that it fits on the paper. And I'm going to highlight everything, which is the words, the text, and the image. And then I'm going to right click and select group and group. And that way, now it's just one solid image instead of Melanin Beauty being you know, on its own. All right, so now we are ready to print this out. And with this inkjet sublimation vinyl, you do not mirror, okay? So you're gonna print, we're gonna be printing this just like it is, like the way you see it on the screen. And because I'm not doing this in um, on a cutting machine, I'm just gonna take my scissors and just go around. Now you do wanna keep in mind that, again, because I'm not using a cutting machine, you're gonna to have to manually cut this out yourself, okay? So that's why I kinda of do like a line around, um, but there's so many different changes that you can make to this to make it your own instead of it just being, you know, just a, a square on the page, okay? So now we are ready to print out, so I'm gonna stop and come up on the screen so that you can see the rest of the process with me. All right, guys, so here we are. We are going to be um, using our sublimation ink on this inkjet sublimation vinyl. Again, this is in 11.7 by 16.5 in size. Um, I order, not order, I purchased this from a local shop here in Dallas, Texas. I will link them in the description directly to this vinyl size, but this is all you need. You don't need anything else. You can see you can put it on dark colors or light colors when vinyl. Um, it comes with 20 sheets, but I will tell you it's $50. $50 for 20 sheets, but they are. Now the last time I did um a video i did it on the smaller size i did it on the smaller the smaller ones okay so do, they do have the smaller ones you can see the video tutorial on my channel but this is the one that i'm going to be doing today all right so when you Take this paper out before we print our image here. And I keep saying paper, guys. It's not paper. It's vinyl. And you do not mirror, okay? So when you take the vinyl out, I don't know I always do that. I always do the side and then go up to do the top. I'm going to show you that it's just like the smaller version. It's just a bigger sheet of paper, a bigger sheet of vinyl. <laughs> All right. So you're gonna have a rough kind of side, and then you're gonna have like a smooth side, okay? You're going to be putting the sublimation ink on the rough side, okay? So the smooth side is gonna be face up, and then the rough side is gonna be face down, okay? So we're gonna get, I'm using the Elk Force, <laughs> Epsom Workforce 7720. comes with the two trays. 
So I'm going to get my vinyl set up again. The rough side, the ragged, the rugged side is going to be on the bottom. The smooth side will be on the top. There's no logos or anything like with your ace up papers and stuff like that. It's both blank, just white. Um, so you will have to remember what side. If you happen to put it on the smooth side, the ink is going to smear when you touch it. So that's why I'm trying to stress that you do not print on the smooth side. It's kind of like the DTF in that there's a right and a wrong side to print on or to print to. Change my sizing for my printer here. All right, so we got that in. All right. So we are now ready to print. So again, I'm printing in Microsoft Power or printing from Microsoft PowerPoint. So we're going to click on File. And print. We're going to say print current slide. OK, current slide. And we're using our Epson Workforce 7720. And I'm going to make sure that my quality and my settings is at the highest of the, of the quality and that my more options, I'm removing high speed. OK. And then I'm going to tell it that I am using 11.6 by um, this says 16.5, but this is actually 11.7 and 16.5. I think that's what I said. Hopefully I said it right in the video. It's 11.7, 16.5 by 16.5. Um, but that is crucial. All right, and we're gonna select okay. And now we are going to, oh, you know what? Let me remove, um, gonna tell you now, uh, take off the black background take that black background off if you're following me take that black background off because that black background will print and you don't need to waste that ink so we're going to go back to format background and we're going to say you know just white okay so it should just be your image with no background no color background for this okay I'm glad I caught that because otherwise I would have had all that black being wasted because I'm not going to be using it. Okay. All right. So again, we got our printer set up. We're going to click on print and do not mirror. We're going to click on print and you'll get a chance to see what this is going to look like here. I will tell you guys that are new to sublimating um, that if you change over any Epson printer to sublimation, if you change over any printer to sublimation, your printer will no longer truly be able to recognize when you do or don't have ink in it. So you want to keep that in mind because like right now, now mine said that the ink is low and I know I just filled up the ink. So it no longer truly reads how much ink you really have because it's trying to keep track of your inkjet ink, not your sublimation ink. Okay. So um, I think this is going to be super pretty, guys. And again, we're going to be putting this on a black shirt so that, again, you can see how it comes out on a black shirt and you don't always have to put the white border around it. Um, this time you can see that I changed mine to a different color and I also cropped it to a different style. OK, so we're going to let this print out and then I'm going to come back and we're going to go to the press together okay but we'll give it a chance to finish printing all right all right guys this is a 100 percent cotton t-shirt so you do not have to worry about polyester for this particular um project this is cotton that we're using 
you don't have to worry about all that uh, lint rolling and all that good stuff. You're just going to place your image down. We're going to come about three fingers from the top. So Scoot that down. And my heat press is a 16 by 24 that I purchased off of eBay. And then you're going to take that sheet that you took off in the beginning. You're just going to place that down on top of your image. And we're going to press this for 10 seconds. I forgot to tighten that thing back up. I almost couldn't push it down there for a second. Okay, we'll give it a few extra seconds since it took me a minute. Look at that, guys. So pretty. And it is a warm peel. Okay. And just like that, we have sublimated onto 100% cotton. And she is gorgeous. I'm going to turn it around. See if I can turn the camera around here. Look at that. 100% cotton. Sublimation ink. And it is so easy to do. This stretch. You don't have to worry about it not stretching. Pull it here, guys. It does not change with the stretching. And like I said, it holds up in the wash. Let me cut this off. It holds up in the wash beautifully. Okay. So this is inkjet sublimation vinyl. This is not paper. And I washed mine on cold and I turned it inside out and then I just let it air dry but there were no creases and bubbles or anything it was just like you see it here okay so this is another way that you can utilize either inkjet you can do this with inkjet ink or sublimation ink the preference is sublimation ink but it can be done if you don't have a sublimation printer you can use this vinyl with the inkjet printer process is the same you'll do everything just like i showed you no difference okay so get into microsoft microsoft power powerpoint guys play around with that cropping so that you can get away from just you know the little block around you saw i used uh another shape and it gave it a little bit more pizzazz okay all right and then you're going to heat press it at 160 celsius for 10 seconds that's it you don't have to lint roll it you don't have to pre-press it all that is not necessary okay i do want to show you that once you finish pressing ink just like with your sublimation papers ink is going to be on here you cannot reuse this so you're just going to take this and put it in the trash do not try to reuse it okay so i do i can't stress that enough but that's it guys that is it and that is all um this is inkjet sublimation vinyl not paper do not mirror and you'll be good to go all right um again i'm gonna link join us in the description exactly to where um exactly to the 11.7 by 16.5 size vinyl um but here you can see that you don't have to worry about polyester polyester blend you don't have to worry about um, lint rolling you don't have to worry about it's not going to show up on black this vinyl works on black and or not just going to say black but dark and light colors it works on both so this is a win-win guys if you don't have a dtf printer you don't need one i just showed you how you can accomplish it with either sublimation ink or inkjet ink all right all right, guys, that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, I do want to say I thank you guys so much for over 
10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel now. Um, I do appreciate that. And I also appreciate everyone that is in my Facebook group, Ken Doris is Cricket and Creative Crafters. I do have a link to my Facebook group in the description. And if you are seeing me for the first time and you like my method of teaching, I was about to say peaching. <laughs> If you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. And stay tuned because I am going to do um, a giveaway on my YouTube channel for me reaching 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. All right. And it's all because of those that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. And again, I can't thank you enough. All right. That's my story. I'm sticking to it, guys. And you all know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And yeah, inkjet sublimation, either or, whichever one you have, it doesn't matter, okay? All right, you guys have a good day.